Alright guys, so this is very different. Um, sitting in a room, locked up on a property and worshipping to a cell phone. But I must say, as strange as this is for me, what I'm enjoying about this season, watching a lot of my friends and, and even a lot of worship guys that I follow, is at the moment so much of our worship that's being shown on Facebook, Facebook Live and on YouTube is just people sitting in their homes loving Jesus. Some have um, are lucky enough to have little mixes and studios and then others like um, me who I probably wouldn't really know what to do with a mixer. I'm very reliant on, on my friends who do sound. It's very raw, there's no effects, there's no studio mix, and it's very real. But like I said, what I'm loving about that is we coming back to the heart of what worship is all about. It's not about the stage and the lights and all those who are blessing and, and thank goodness for studios and sound technicians. But sometimes... It's great just to sit together and love Jesus and get back to the heart of what it's truly about and that's loving Him, looking at our bride, pouring out our worship, breaking over our, breaking open our alabaster jars and just pouring it out at His feet. And so that's what I, I pray for this time that we spend together, that you won't maybe even look at your screen but that you'll sit on your couch or as a family just lie on the carpet or if you do have if you can get out into your garden put your earphones on and sit in the sun and feel the warmth of of his presence and let's just love Jesus together let's look to the one who we know is the only way and truth and life who is salvation, who is our everything. And even when the world shakes and confusion comes in, He is our stability. He is the truth and He is what we stand on and who we depend on. So, Father, at this time, we just want to come and love you together as a family across all the different platforms and countries and cities and homes. We just want to pour our love on the one who is so worth it. There's nothing else matters but you, Father. At this time where so much is being stripped away, the busyness of life, things that often preoccupy us. It's all stripped away. And now we turn our eyes on the only one who gives life. You, Jesus. You, Father. You, Holy Spirit. And may this time of worship truly be a sweet sound as father as you hear your children pouring out their worship in these times to you let it be a sweet sound let it be a sweet sound so I love
walk with us, you never leave. Yes, you walk with us, you never leave. And we know all things work together for those who trust you. Yes, all things work together for good. tomorrow brings. I know that my heart will sing. You are good no matter what tomorrow brings. I know that my heart will sing. You are good, so good to me. so good to me you are so good to me even if I don't understand I know that you're good to me cause your ways are higher than my ways thoughts are so much higher than my thoughts so no matter what tomorrow brings my heart will sing that you are good heart will sing that you are good Father, no matter what tomorrow brings, our hearts will always sing that you are good. Even if we don't understand, we know that we are in your hands and that you have a plan. Because you are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. You are good, Father. And may we focus on that. Your ways are so much higher than our ways. Your thoughts way beyond our human capacity of understanding. But you work all things together for good. That's our foundation, Father. You are good. You are good. You are good. Amen.